you must discover that which is always here, that which is prior to all movement. We can call it the ocean of beingness. We can call it open awareness. We can call it the light, the light of consciousness, the light of awareness. And this is the source of peace and fulfillment and freedom that has nothing to do with your personhood. Why does it even matter? It matters because without knowing this light, touching this light, awakening to this light, discovering this light, then we continue in our flapping around on the surface, on the waves, chasing and grasping, believing ourselves to be the waves. But the waves are not who we are. The waves are what, are what is happening. The waves are the circumstances, the ever-changing circumstances of life, as well as the ever-changing thoughts, as well as the ever-changing feelings, but that's not who you are. And to remain on the surface, chasing waves, going, that's me, that's me, or pushing them away, running away, going, that's not me, that's not me, is the source of suffering, psychological suffering, yes? Which can lead to anxiety and depression and even suicide, of course. Can lead us, lead us right to the edge at the edge of I can't handle it anymore. I don't want to be in this skin anymore. I don't want to be me anymore. So the only resolution to the suffering is to fall open as the ocean because you already are that. The wave is already part of the ocean. It is the ocean. The ocean is the vast, open, unbounded, infinite nature of awareness itself. Awareness is not limited to any activity or object. Awareness is what is always here. 